You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. According to sources, Caleb Williams is way ahead of schedule learning the Chicago Bears scheme. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you also do me a huge favor by also liking today's episode right here on Keek on the Mic. Bears fans, before I go any further, everyone knows that the Chicago Bears are currently in OTAs. This is when rookies and veterans get to see the practice field and share their practice field for the very first time as a Chicago Bear. And the Bears social media team is absolutely on fire. They actually posted two videos a day of Caleb Williams rolling out and absolutely launching a dart to new tight end Gerald Everett. And in the second video clip they posted today was Caleb Williams connecting with DJ Moore. And that is a connection that's going to be absolutely fire all season long for the Chicago Bears. And I understand Bears fans. There's really not a lot of pressure coming at them. You know, it's very just like, you know, walking through uh, the plays and here and there. But I think it's still exciting to see Caleb Williams throwing to DJ Moore and Gerald Everett and just to see Caleb Williams in a Chicago Bears uniform that gets me really excited as a Bears fan so I wanted to talk a little bit more about Caleb Williams on today's episode of Keek on the Mic because one of the toughest challenges for every team uh, drafting a young quarterback in the first round or in the NFL draft in general is basically getting them up to speed on an NFL level offense. You know, there's always going to be that learning curve because, you know, when you're talking about an NFL scheme, at times it can be really, really complex and really college's offenses. Maybe some college offenses are similar to NFL style, but most of the time, um, quarterbacks coming from college to the NFL, there is going to be that learning curve. Even veterans at times uh, have trouble trying to learn an NFL level offense. And the one thing that the Bears really had to be cautious of when they drafted Caleb Williams to make sure he would be able to make that seamless transition. Uh, and we talk about how Matt Eberflus knew from day one, right away from the start of Chicago Bears rookie minicamp, that he wanted to make Caleb Williams the starter for the Chicago Bears. Um, so they wanted to make sure they did everything in their power to ensure that Caleb Williams had a solid grasp of the system. Uh, According to sources um, out of Hollis Hall, Caleb Williams already way ahead of schedule and learned the Chicago Bears scheme. And there's a certain reason why, and the Bears were in a really unique situation to kind of help Caleb Williams along um, in trying to learn the scheme as fast as he can and get a, a like a general idea and grasp of what Shane Waldron was looking for within this Chicago Bears offense. And Everyone knows the Chicago Bears had the number one overall pick, and they knew since March that they wanted to take Caleb Williams with the number one overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. And according to Albert Breer of the MMQB, uh, the team knew Williams was their guy around the beginning of March. That meant they can employ a creative tactic to give Williams a head start on learning the offense. This is what he had to say about the Caleb Williams situation and being way ahead of schedule. Check this out, Bears fans. That facilitated, yes, the more timely shop in the field. It also gave the Bears the opportunity to start subtly onboarding Williams. As such, the team used the three one-hour Zooms it was allowed to do with the quarterback before the draft to get him ready to run the offense. Rather than deploying them as a tool to assess him like you would with other prospects. During the first one, the Bears taught Williams the terminology, giving him a foundation on what to call formations and motions within new offensive coordinator Shane Waldron's scheme. During the second, they started installing their base, normal down plays. During the third, they put in red zone and third down plays. We wanted to have our install set for the OTAs and for rookie minicamp. We wanted to make sure he had those down during those three Zoom meetings, Coach Matt Eberflus told me Friday. So when he came into rookie minicamp on May 9th, he was very familiar with those installs. We were very fortunate to do that, and Shane and the offensive staff have done a wonderful job of really making it friendly and learnable for Caleb. Once again, Bears fans, this is really great to hear, and the Bears were in a really unique situation, and the Chicago Bears didn't break any rule NFL rules by basically 
teaching Caleb Williams the installs and kind of giving him getting more comfortable with what Shane Waldron was looking for within his offense here in Chicago. So that's also a good thing. And Matt Eberflus made it very clear prior to the NFL draft. I believe Matt Eberflus said at the owners meeting in Indianapolis, other uh, plans for Caleb Williams. And he did use the word install. Um, so Caleb Williams has been learning the offense since way back in March, it sounds like. So by time he was drafted by the Chicago Bears and by time rookie minicamp came for the Chicago Bears, Caleb Williams already had an early grasp of the terminology and the different installs and the different ins and outs of the Chicago Bears offense. So yes, Caleb Williams is way ahead of schedule in terms of learning the offense. And for him, as soon as he as he can get comfortable with that terminology, the ins and outs of the Shane Waldron offense, the different motions, right? And then you start getting that chemistry and connection with DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, DeAndre Swift, Roma Dunze within this offense. This offense has the potential to be dangerous. And once again, the Chicago Bears were in a really unique situation because they it allowed them to really reach out to Caleb. They understood, understood that that was the guy that they wanted with the number one overall pick. So they were able to get a head start in really teaching Caleb Williams what they are looking for at the quarterback position within this Shane Waldron offense. And, and once again, this is not me saying that Caleb Williams is going to be flawless in his rookie season. Obviously, rookies will always have their struggles. Uh, but at the same time, it is really good to hear that Caleb Williams is way ahead of schedule in terms of the terminology of this offense. Now, once we get to training camp, now we can really hit the ground running. It's not going to be about learning or installing anything, right? It's going to be, we can hit the ground running and start running plays and start practicing certain plays that make Caleb comfortable and plays that can really make the Chicago Bears offense really dynamic this season. So overall, Bears fans, personally, no one can say that the Chicago Bears aren't doing everything in their power um, to make Caleb Williams transition as smooth as possible. Once again, we talked about this before. Caleb Williams is damn near in a perfect situation to start his NFL career. Um, I think Shane Waldron is the perfect offensive coordinator to really groom um, Caleb Williams into something special. Um, but all in all, even though he is way ahead of schedule, now we have to see it on the football field. And I cannot wait for week one of the NFL season to see um, how good Caleb Williams is and operating the Shane Waldron offense here in Chicago. So overall, Bears fans, before I let you guys go, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, and make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, be back for our all-new Bears podcast right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and as always, bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic. A podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and bear down.